Humans have looked up at the night sky and wondered, are we alone? Enter the void. In the infinite silence of space, our moon has always been a constant companion, watching over Earth like a timeless sentinel, but half of its face has remained hidden, not because it doesn't exist, but because tidal forces keep it forever turned away, locked in mystery. For millennia, humanity wondered, what lies on the far side of the moon? Now, we are beginning to know. The Shadowed Hemisphere Unlike the familiar side we see each night, the far side is jagged, scarred, almost alien. It lacks the wide, dark plains we call Maria, those seas of basalt we know from telescopes. Instead, it is a world of endless craters, its surface more ancient, more battered by cosmic impacts. And at its heart lies one of the greatest scars in the solar system, the South Pole Aitken Basin, a colossal impact site nearly 2,500 kilometers wide. Some scientists believe this basin may reach all the way to the moon's mantle, a window into its very foundation. The Race to See the Unseen For decades, the far side was a mystery beyond reach. Communication was impossible, blocked by the moon itself. But in 2019, China achieved what no nation had ever done before. The Chang'e 4 mission touched down on the far side. To do this, they placed a relay satellite, Kekiao, into a stable orbit beyond the moon. A cosmic mirror bouncing signals back to Earth. For the first time, humanity had eyes and ears in a place forever hidden from us. The Alien Landscape When Chang'e 4's rover, Yutu-2, rolled across the surface, the first close-up images stunned the world. Here was a land no human had ever walked, a desolate plain bathed in eternal silence, the soil, called regolith, held secrets billions of years old. Rocks told stories of ancient bombardments, and beneath the surface, hints of something more. A composition different from the near side. This suggested the moon's two faces were shaped by very different histories. Why the far side matters. Why go there at all? Because the far side holds answers not only about the moon, but about Earth, the solar system, even the origins of life. Its surface is shielded from Earth's constant radio chatter, making it the perfect place to build radio telescopes. Listening to the faint whispers of the universe, Signals from the dawn of time, the cosmic microwave background, the echoes of the Big Bang itself, all could be studied, undisturbed from this silent frontier. The Hidden Resources But there is another reason nations set their sights on the far side. Resources The regolith is rich in helium-3, a rare isotope that could one day fuel nuclear fusion, a clean, nearly limitless source of energy. There are metals, water ice locked in shadowed craters, and minerals untouched for billions of years. For China, these missions are not only scientific, they are strategic. The moon may be the key to the next great age of exploration, and perhaps of power. 
The future unfolds. Chang'e 4 was only the beginning. China has already launched new missions, bringing back samples from the lunar surface. Their goal is clear to establish a permanent research station near the South Pole where sunlight and shadow create a landscape of opportunity. Other nations too are preparing. NASA's Artemis program, private companies and international coalitions all race to return humans to the moon. But on the far side, China stands alone. And so the far side of the moon is no longer just a hidden face. It is a frontier, a mirror of our ambition, a place where science, politics and the dream of exploration converge. What once was eternal mystery is now the stage of humanity's next great chapter. Yet as we uncover its secrets, we must ask ourselves, will the moon become a symbol of unity or the spark of competition beyond Earth? The answer lies in the shadows.